Okay, boys and girls, this morning in our morning message, we talked about a giant made by people, and it was the Mayan temple. Now these people, the Mayans, were very, very special. They had lots of stories about how things worked and why certain animals, like this bird, got its, oh, wait, well, yep, got its colors. This is called a hummingbird. Can you say hummingbird? Yes, now what is something you see about the hummingbird? Mm-hmm, yeah, yep, look, in the flowers, what is this called? It's beak, very good. Yeah, when a hummingbird is at the flowers, they have to stay in one spot and that's how they get their flower. They don't get to fly around. They have to stop and flap in place to get the flower. Now look at the colors. What colors do you see? Oh yes, it's such a beautiful hummingbird. Now this bird is a special kind of bird because this bird knows how to fly backwards. So it can fly forward, it can fly backwards. This is the only bird that can fly backwards. How awesome is that? And he can fly in place. So instead of having to fly around the whole time, the hummingbird can just stay in place by flapping its wings. And it is a special type of bird. And we're gonna read a story all about the hummingbird and how the hummingbird got its colors. And this story is told by the Mayans. So turn on those listening ears. This story does not have pictures. This is called How the Hummingbird Got Its Colors. Zunum, the hummingbird, was created by the Great Spirit as a tiny, delicate bird with amazing flying ability. She was the only bird in the kingdom who could fly backwards or could hover in one spot. But Zunum was plain. Her feathers had no bright colors, but she didn't care. She was happy despite her looks. When it came time to be married, Zunum realized that she had nothing to wear. She was so sad that some of her friends decided to surprise her with a wedding dress and some jewelry. Yaw, the vermilion crowned flycatcher, wore a ring of red feathers around his throat. He used to he used to use it as his gift. He kept a few red feathers for his crown and gave the rest to the hummingbird for her necklace. Well, Chill Chill, the bluebird, kindly donated several blue feathers for her gown. The colorful Mama offered turquoise blue and emerald green and the cardinal gave some red ones. <gasps> How awesome is that, that these birds donated their own feathers. They donated red and blue, and even some turquoise and green feathers so that the hummingbird would be colorful on her wedding day. Then Yum Yum, Yu Yum, the Oriole, was a seamstress, sewed up all of the feathers into an exquisite wedding gown for the little hummingbird. Alum, the spider, crept up with a fragile web woven of shiny gossamer threads for her veil. She helped Mrs. Yu Yum weave intricate designs into the dress. When the wedding day arrived, Zunum was so surprised, happy, and grateful that she could barely twitter her, her vows. Oh my goodness, why do you think she was so happy? She didn't have a wedding dress, but now what happened? Exactly, her friends came together and they made her a beautiful wedding dress full of colors. The great spirit so admired her humble, honest soul that he sent down with this messenger, Cozumel, the swallow, that the hummingbird could wear the wedding gown for the rest of her life. And to this day, she has. The end. Wow, so how did this hummingbird get its colors? Exactly, her friends came together and gave her these beautiful colors and now she gets to wear them forever. How awesome is that? Now, how do you, was the hummingbird grateful or thankful for her, for her um, wedding clothes? I want you to let me know how you knew she was or was not grateful. Let me repeat that because that sounded silly. Was the hummingbird grateful and thankful for her wedding outfit and how do you know?